Hi, welcome to episode 296 of your favorite daily podcast, A Couple of Things, a podcast about things. Yes, I started talking about forgiveness and today I want to continue that and talk about how to handle when people offend you. So, still in the same part of Matthew, Matthew 18, where um, Jesus talks about um, forgiveness. Before that, before Peter asked about um, how many times should he forgive someone who sins, his brother who sins against him. Jesus already gave a um, admonition or a teaching about how to handle when your brother sins against you. And brother here is obviously not just referring to your actual biological brother, just like <laughs> I think in the verse it's talking specifically about another Christian, but in my mind as well, I think it's just anybody that you have some kind of relationship with, I guess. Um, but anyway. Jesus says that if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. If he doesn't, take one or two others along with you that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to church, let him be two years a gentle and a tax collector. And in the sense that basically you have tried your best to reconcile. And I think that the point is that God is always more interested in reconciliation than anything else so we should always strive towards peace and reconciliation with people and yeah the reading i just did is from matthew 18 15 to 18 and it's in the esv version um no that's the that's that thing that we do when we say it's a machine it's in the esv anyway (laughs) um The point here is very clear. When someone offends you, you tell them. Don't do that thing where you're like just seething in your head and replaying and replaying the thing over and over in your mind about how they said this or did that or didn't do this or didn't do that. Because that doesn't help your heart. It doesn't help you towards reconciliation and forgiveness, which is what God ultimately wants for relationships. So if someone offends you, you are supposed to tell them before you go and start telling everybody which is something that well you can all be guilty of and i can already think of one or two instances where i did that um which we should not be doing you should first go and tell the person that this is what you did this is how i interpreted this and this is how it hurt my feelings or made me feel or whatever and is when he doesn't listen to you or she doesn't listen to you that you then take other people you then tell other people maybe people that not everybody in the world like you can broadcast it maybe one or two people that you both know and trust so i guess it's only work in the context of where there's a relationship of some kind right and then you tell them the situation and then these people can then um help towards reconciliation also don't tell people that are always looking for fights that always want to like you know no 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 no, no. they did this, 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 this so you should not no look for people <laughs> who are um who tend towards reconciliation right um and then try and have another conversation with this person and it's very imperative to know that this all depends on the person wanting to listen to you or wanting to engage in this conversation because if the person doesn't want to engage then there's really nothing you can do but the point is that we have to first try we have to first express how we feel and there was a recent thing that happened with me in this kind of situation where there was something that happened with me and somebody and we eventually had a conversation about it and it just turned out to be lots of miscommunication lots of misunderstanding of things that happened that if we had both just talked to each other earlier in the whole drama it would not have gotten to the point where it got to because it was just clearly a case of constant miscommunication and misinterpretation of things that when we talked about it it was very clear that this is what happened and it was a very easy resolution so it doesn't always work out that way it may just turn out that this person is not interested in reconciliation or in anything so but you must have tried that's the point you must have tried genuinely not fake trying actual genuine trying to reconcile and if the person um 
resist the attempt at reconciliation and you have then involved one or two other people who are trusted people and the person still rejects the effort of reconciliation then all that is left for you to do is forgive and move not to keep stewing about it and and on and on and on and in on the flip side when you offend somebody and they come and tell you don't be hard-hearted and hot-headed just listen because again we have a responsibility to first always seek reconciliation there's even a part earlier in in one of the gospels where jesus says that if you are bringing an offering and you remember that somebody has something against you as in you have offended somebody or somebody is upset at you for something forget about giving that offering in that moment go and reconcile first then come back that's how much that's how important peace and reconciliation is to god so you can be doing everything seemingly righteous and right but if if you're holding grudges against people if you're if you know that somebody is offended at you like you have done something to offend somebody and you know or maybe you don't even know that you did something to offense, but you just know that somebody is upset at you, but you may not know why. Don't just ignore it and be like, it doesn't matter, whatever. It matters. If you're a Christian, if you are truly a Christian, it matters. Because Jesus says that it matters. So it matters. And yeah, that's it for today. And I think that wraps up the conversation on forgiveness and handling offense. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow again. Bye. Thank you for listening to today's episode of A Couple of Things. If there was anything you found interesting or insightful or you enjoyed the episode, please do share to someone or multiple people. Like, leave a comment and definitely do subscribe and all the nice things. Bye.